Hello and welcome, dear friends and family of mankind, tuning in to the Gnostic Takeover message, the new signal, the new reality that is emerging through us. And as you can see, still, I'm having to um, hold the fort, shall we say and continue the Gnostic takeover on my own and I have Liz with me also as a massive part of the Gnostic takeover and we're on the verge of creating something amazing and extraordinary and this is what I'm going to be talking about today and something, a message that really wants to come through me today. So I'm happy to convey that to you and tell everyone here that it's been a time now of contraction for the Gnostic takeover. There is a different vibe around the Gnostic takeover as to when it was complete with Errol. And yeah, we all miss Errol and Errol's input and Errol's uniqueness. However, we got Errol back very soon with us again, guaranteed. Because I say so. It's called coming from a pivot of sovereignty. I am a sovereign being creating that reality. So there was a buzz around the Gnostic takeover that's sort of missing right now. You only have me to contend with and love me or hate me. It doesn't change the fact that no one outside of me can change, which is the fact that I'm creating a reality based on true freedom, true sovereignty due to the very simple fact that I live according to moral code. I live according to principles. Like, for example, the principle of cause and effect cannot be changed by anyone. If you're a policeman, police officer, or psychologist, or nuclear physicist, or you are a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, no one of you can change the principle of cause and effect. No one of you can change that. No matter how hard you've studied, no matter how many titles you have achieved in your lifetime, you cannot change the inevitable. You cannot change the principle that there's causes to the effects that reflect those causes. I'm speaking about the principles, the foundation on which this universe that we're experiencing is founded upon. No one can change that. That's why the AI machine consciousness is trying to create their own artificial singularity and go and live 
in the smartphone, in their smart grid, where they are gods. Ain't working because you do not control the principle of cause and effect. And it just so happens that I have set very high causes, ultimate course, uh, causes of truth and freedom into effect and it's playing out. This is where I talk about the natural cycle of creation that began on the 21st of March again. And every day from now on is more and more manifestation of the reality that I would like to see. A reality that is based on truth, freedom and love. So we can have a good laugh. We as mankind have the first say in all of this. And I am pretty confident in everything that I do. You know why? Because I got the message. Let me share a little bit about something that I just came across during my decoding session. You see, this is what I do. I just... Let me show you. I just sit here and I decode the universe. Truth. Ever thought about how it is where I get my information? It's called plant medicine. You have to be very courageous to work with plant medicine because what you get is the truth and nothing but the truth. All your fears come up. All your self-doubt comes up and you slay all of that, meaning healing, all of that. And that's where you get to a place of complete self-love, an abundance of self-love. I love myself. No one can change that, which is why I am the biggest danger to an entire matrix control system. You see, I always keep moving on. I used to think that I needed to wake people up. I thought that when I went to the demonstrations and I spoke in front of people, I thought I had to wake people up and inform them about what's going on. The truth was, and this is what I learned from the plant medicine that I'm so grateful for because it changed my life. I love the plant medicine, ayahuasca and datura, because it changed my life for the better. And the message was clear. <laughs> you want to wake others up? No, you need to wake up. That's the truth. And no one can stop the truth from coming out now. No judge, no priest, no high priest of Satanism, no cardinal, no pope, no archon, no Satan, no Wetiko field manipulating this reality. It's all checkmate. I know it. They hate me that I know, but I know because of plant medicine. Plant medicine taught me tells me everything. I know everything that I need to know, when I need to know. And I keep an open mind because I'm humble. Because I love the truth. However, there's many agents of the system that don't like the truth to come out. But you can't stop it. No one can stop what's going to happen. And I'm pretty chilled. I'm pretty happy. I don't have to shout, 
loud anymore as I did a month ago. Two months ago. That's over. I'm in a different universe now because this is a frequency-based reality. I love what's coming. However, there's many agents that don't want the truth to come out. They see me as some sort of threat. Well, that's your problem, not mine. I love the truth coming out. Because all you agents who don't want the truth coming out, you also have families, don't you? You want the security for your family, don't you? When you're a, And they're all listening in, okay? I know you're all listening in. The Interior Ministry, the Verfassungsschutz, the police, the intelligence services and all that. Yeah, you all got families, don't you? You all have family. You want your family to be safe and secure, don't you? You want to leave your paycheck for your family. Once you call your day and you leave this reality to serve Satan somewhere else. Or maybe come again. You want your family to be safe and secure, don't you? Well, how about other, other families? How about my family? I know that my family was not secure and safe with the plans that you're imposing on the world. You want to take everyone's money. You want to create a Hunger Games society. Well, there's someone who's more intelligent than you and is speaking to you. Checkmating. All of you and the entire system that you serve because you're all on the Monopoly board. The Wetiko Monopoly board of the Matrix. That I have successfully checkmated. And yeah, I can say these things in advance before they happen. And then they call me some sort of a... In German we call it a Wahrsager. Um, oh, prophet. No, it's Gnosticism. How do you know? Well, I just know. Oh, where's your proof? No, you show me your proof. No, I don't answer questions. No one's allowed to question me. I don't answer questions. Because I am the one who fucking asks the questions. You're the ones who need to be questioned. You have committed genocide here on Earth. Ever since the end of the Second World War and during the Second World War and in between also. It's gone for many, many years and now is the point where I say, done, it's over, you're all done. You either come clean, so you want your family to be safe and secure, well you can have that. You serve the truth now. There's a new boss in town, it's called the truth. It's called sovereignty. That is not defined under territoriality. Of some state that doesn't act as a state, as public servants that serves the public, humanity, mankind. All of these state actors and agents have been hijacked by a criminal class that thinks it's superior to natural order. Well, the very reason I'm here is to tell them that they're not. I am natural order kicking in for them, for everyone. I don't care how much money they have. I don't care what they think they are, some sort of uber class. And they have the right to rule over this earth because they don't. They're jackasses who are blowing smoke up their asses. That's what they are. And that's why I'm here, to tell all of you that things look very different from now on. Because I'm in charge. Because I'm the only one who's, who can put myself in charge. I'm not waiting for someone to put me in charge. Because otherwise I would have to go up that pyramid structure again. okay, And leave my morals and my values behind. And subordinate myself. And become a dickhead. It's not happening with me.
We're living in great times. And that is because I actually got the message. And let me share a little bit with you about the insights that are shared in the book that I keep recommending by Paul Levy, Dispelling Wetica. It's what I want to talk about, okay? And this also has to do with the danger that we potentially are as human beings of mankind. I got the message. The message is, you have to do it, Steve. Go for it. You are the authority. Why? Because this is a dreamlike reality. Who can prove to me otherwise that this is not a dream? It is. I'm in a dream. It's like a dream when I'm dreaming. Quantum physics shows all of that. Not going to go into details. And I'm the dreamer. I have to be, because the only thing I can be sure of is my own existence. I can only speak for myself. Not like the dark occult who think they can just decide for the whole world that they're going full technocratic, fascistic, with AI 5G technology control. They can just decide that for everyone, magically, like... No. I'm pretty level-headed. The fact that... I can only speak for myself. I can only be sure of my own existence. This is a dreamlike reality and I'm the dreamer. And from that position of authority over my dream, I can change all of reality. And all I have to face are aspects of my subconscious mirroring back to me. My shadow aspects in the form of Henry Kissinger or the high priest of Satanism or any other criminal class that are just aspects of my subconscious. Shadow aspects, obviously, because they're immoral. And of course, the shadow doesn't want to be taken over by the light. Because that would mean it would lose its position of abuse of power. Because the shadow is not power. The light is the power that even makes the shadow exist in the first place. Because the shadow doesn't have any independent existence outside of the light. And I'm speaking from the position of the light. I got the message. And if we get the message that our dreamlike universe is revealing to us, then it's checkmate to the control system because you're back in your power. If we don't get the message that our dreamlike universe is, re is revealing to us, we end up, otherwise, in endless reiterations of the same waking nightmare, often with escalating intensity, until we get the message. Now we know why things are escalating. Yeah, because we need to get the message. Wake up, humanity. And no... I'm not trying to wake you up. I couldn't care less, you know? I'm doing this video for myself. That's the truth. My content will always be for free. So everyone can watch it. Because I'm, I'm serving the truth, not a paycheck. And thanks, by the way, to everyone who donated to our cause. So thankful for your free donations out of your free will to support this mission, which shows that you, there's something resonating with you. And don't think that I'm wasting my time doing this video. 
not only do I believe in the Gnostic takeover, I know the Gnostic takeover is successful. Why? Because it is the very reason I'm here. I'm a child of the living organic entity that is Earth. And she loves me just as I love her, which is the reason why shadow elements are not allowed anywhere near me. Because I got the message. The message was, you, Steve, you wake up to yourself. So we're going to take Errol and Leone away from you. So you can go deep into decoding about how the Gnostic takeover is going to go about. I have the template, the blueprint. And it's not going to go on this video. It's many videos of information that I have at my disposal at any point, at any moment, which is the nightmare of control freaks. Let me quote from Carl Jung. Jung said, the world powers that rule over humanity are unconscious psychic forces. We are steeped in a world that was created by our own psyche. Exactly. Psychic forces. And in the, it even said in the Bible, and pff, today must be a special day because I'm saying a word about the Bible. Pff, not staying too long on this one. However, it said powers and principalities rule over humanity. Yeah. Satan rules over you for as long as you want to believe in the lie that you can get away with immoral behavior and not suffer the consequences for that. As long as you are immoral, and as long as you think you can get away with eating meat, and that's totally fine to do, the energy of death, by the way, that you're inserting into your body, I'm, I'll uh, only stopped eating meat like half a year ago, so I can tell you it's an addiction, and I feel much better ever since I stopped eating meat. And I eat more nuts now, for example. When you become moral, then you don't have Satan judging over you anymore. You have forces of ultimate power that are far more powerful than Satan. And they'll be guiding you because you won't want to go back to being immoral because it's far more awesome being moral. So we need to realize that in order to make a difference in this world, we need to make the difference in ourselves. We need to make the difference in the way we perceive reality. Right now, I'm speaking to you inside my own psyche. Everything that is around me, and that means everything, including beings, is my own psyche. Can only be that way. However, I respect and treat other beings as if they were me. Doesn't mean, no, oh, they're just my psyche. No, 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 no. They, from their pivot point, are in their own psyche too. And I'm mirror reflecting back to them, their unconscious aspects. And this is how the matrix works. It's a mirrored reality. So we transcend the matrix by upgrading our perception of it, which is your reality outside of you is 
it is just your psyche. Don't be afraid of your own psyche. So, and this is what I want to end this video with. There is a very, very powerful thing inside of us. And that's what I'm going to end this video with. Hidden within the psyche is an encoded treasure waiting to be discovered and that is an incalculable uncontrollable metanuclear power that can transform anything inside our own psyche makes sense now the whole mind control and how deep the mind control goes because if you know that there's a metanuclear power inside the psyche of every single individual on earth especially those of mankind i don't know about the machine consciousness but mankind with a heart if you have that metanuclear power that can change everything well you would create a multidimensional matrix control system to keep that in check because otherwise you could change everything. So only even a slight change in the psyche of humanity, which is the world's pivot, even the smallest alteration in the psychic factor could have extraordinary worldwide effects and this is what we're looking at right now everything can always change in an instant that's why the controllers don't want us to know how mind control works. They want us to believe that all change takes incredible amounts of time and you just have to wait. So it never happens and they stay in control. Even the slightest small alteration of the psyche can have extraordinary effects in our world. And this is how powerful you are. This is how powerful I am. And that is happening right now. You see, I'm the first one to admit that I'm not free. <laughs> Pretty fucked up situation how huh, when you've been studying freedom for the best part of 13 years consciously before that unconsciously but 13 years of study of freedom yeah and i say i'm not free because i'm growing my freedom every day and watering it like a plant because i know that wisdom is knowing how little we know and i stay humble always stay humble that's how I learn. And that's why I was chosen by plant medicine, forces of ultimate power, to convey this message to you. Because it's time. The world changed for the better. And there's many agents out there that do not want the world to change. They still get their paycheck. In. It's good for their family to be safe. Screw all the other families. Everyone will be safe. We're ending all crime. No more human trafficking. No more of this blood business, bloodshed. We come to the table now. Because we say so, because I say so, there's no one stopping me. I'm taking over. Completely. Because I know about morality. I'm not an enemy of the state. I'm telling the state how it works. A state employs public officials that need to work 
for the public and not endanger all of humanity in the form of genocide as they have been doing. I'm an enemy of no one. The only ones who want to make me as their enemy are at war with the truth that I speak. And if that's for what I'm guilty for, then I can't be guilty of anything. Because my very reason of existence is that the light of the truth shines throughout the entire world and throughout the multiverses, not only our universe.